Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Uh, today we're testing another one of my unorthodox shotgun projectiles. This is what you might call a shooting star bullet. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of star-shaped in cross-section. Uh, now, this is kind of a preliminary version. Uh, you know, I've already identified some improvements that I probably need to make uh, so that the mold will cast a little bit more reliably. But, uh, since I've got a few of these cast up that turned out okay, I figured might as well load them in shot shells and send them down range and see what happens. Okay, so my first observation is that these have very little recoil. Now, I did use a relatively light powder charge just to be on the safe side, you know, with a new bullet like this. But for a one and a quarter ounce projectile, these don't kick nearly as much as they should. So that leads me to suspect we may be getting some gas blow-by, kind of like we did with the rope darts, which is disappointing because I used a completely different wad system in these in hopes of mitigating that problem. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at the target. Well, you don't see that every day. Obviously, these bullets are not going very fast because they're not going through the plywood, although they are at least lodging in it. And because they're lodged in it at all different orientations, obviously they're tumbling in flight. On the ground, I found a bunch of pieces of the base wad, which are all pretty much sheared off to the profile of the bullet cross-section. So I think this pretty much confirms my hypothesis about getting gas blow-by, which of course explains the low recoil and the very low velocity. I've still got about a half a dozen of these shells left, so just to see what happens, why don't we shoot a few through the rifled slug barrel? Uh, that's certainly not going to fix our blow-by problem, and I really don't have high hopes for the star-shaped projectile engaging the rifling very well. But if it engages it just enough to start spinning a little bit, maybe that could fix our stability problem. We might as well take a few shots and find out. Well, three out of the four shots actually made it through the half-inch plywood backstop. But there's one lodged in there sideways, so clearly they are still tumbling. I've still got one round left that I want to use up, so just to see what happens, let's shoot a frozen water jug. Well, I'm not sure what I was expecting, but it probably wasn't this. The bullet hit the jug, split the plastic, and then bounced off the ice, while pieces of the wadding went through the plastic and embedded themselves in the ice. Well, I think I can safely declare these experimental shotgun rounds to be a total failure. But that's the way research and development goes sometimes. You know, it often takes a lot of iterations on a design to make it work. So maybe someday you'll see a version of the Shooting Star Slug on this show that actually works. Uh, in any case, until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.